When we're discovering things that we can do as part of our daily lifestyle to enhance our health and well-being, one of the most important things to remember is group support. The people in our lives that we can share our emotions and feelings with, not just our thoughts and our ideas. Dr. David Spiegel of Stanford University took women with metastatic breast cancer and divided them up into two groups. Both groups got exactly the same medical treatment according to their breast cancer needs, but one group met regularly and shared the emotions and the feelings that came up with the challenges of having breast cancer. Years later, Dr. Spiegel tracked what happened to all the participants in this experiment, those that had the same medical treatment but no group support, and those who had the group support. He was alarmed to find out that the women who had the support group as an avenue to share their feelings and emotions had lived twice as long as the women who had no support group. Similar studies in the medical field have shown, whether it's through Dr. Dean Ornish's reversing heart disease program or other studies, that the importance of sharing our emotions and feelings on a regular basis is directly correlated with longevity and quality of life. We need to share. We are social animals. We have to have community and support around us. Even if it's just one or two people, it doesn't have to be a large number. It's not a numbers game. But it's the importance of releasing suppressed feelings that may have been there for years. Dr. Sarno, in his research on back pain, neck pain, abdominal ulcers, found that hostility, anger, suppressed rage, when released, can often release also the pain associated with back or abdominal or neck challenges. And a whole treatment process based on sharing and releasing emotions suppressed in the subconscious mind has followed and brought relief to thousands of people. So in looking at health enhancement and discovering ways that you can improve your health and well-being, if you can share your feelings and emotions in a confidential environment with people who genuinely care for you and will support you, this is one of the most effective tools to improving your health and well-being, no matter what challenges you're facing. There are many, many studies to document this, but those studies are only what we already intuitively know. It feels good to share. It feels good to care. This life that we're living is very impermanent, but the connections from heart to heart that we make with each other is the key to our well-being and ushering wellness in for those that we love and care for. Group support, communication, the art of listening as well as speaking are all tools that you should keep with you on a day-to-day -day basis and use regularly for maintenance of your health and well-being.